Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into a hidden gems in Intune, device cleanup rule, the smarter way to clean up still device record. Let's first understand why this matters. So in large environments where devices are frequently reimaged, replaced or left unused, Intune admin center can quickly become cluttered with inactive and operant device entries. This cluttered is not just cosmetic, it can distort compliance dashboard, inflate licensing cost and make reporting inaccurate. Now let's understand what's new in Intune device cleanup rule. So Microsoft recently updated or introduced platform specific rule, meaning that now instead of creating a single device cleanup rule to remove all the stale entries, whether it's a Windows device, iOS, Android, Mac device, now you can create a platform specific rule, meaning that for Windows device, you can create a separate device cleanup rule. For Android device or iOS device or Mac device, you can create a separate device cleanup rule. And in all the cases, inactivity threshold is always ranging from 32 to 70 days. Let's understand what happens behind the scene when device cleanup rule is enabled in Intune. So when we are enabling that device cleanup rule, then in the backend, a backend job runs every hour to detect and remove the devices that haven't checked in for a specific number of days, say 90 or 180. These devices are removed from the Intune portal, meaning that they no longer appear in any device list, report or blade. Important point is that this is a soft delete from the Intune only. The device is still exists in Entra ID and must be manually removed from there by Entra ID tenant administrator if needed. Now let's see what type of device are impacted. So cleanup rule is applicable for all types of platform, whether it's a Windows device, Android device, iOS device, Mac device, or even Linux device. I can see in the new rule, I am not able to find the specific rule to create a Linux device, but I am assuming if you are creating a policy for all device, then it will also remove the Linux device. Even the device that fails to complete the en enrollment due to any reason can be cleaned up using the device cleanup rule. Now, very important question. Does the device cleanup rule wipe the device or retire the device? So simple answer is that it is neither wiping the device nor retiring the device. The device cleanup process does not wipe or retire the actual device. It only removes the stale entry from the Intune portal if it is not checked in during the specific threshold. Let's quickly check few recommendations. The very first recommendation is always try to use 90 days as a baseline for large organizations so that you can balance between accuracy and inactivity tolerance. Second recommendation is if Entra ID cleanup matters for you, consider using PowerShell automation or Azure automation runbook to disable the device first and after some duration, delete the stale entries from the Entra portal. And the last, not a recommendation, just an information. If the device that returns before the certificate expiry will automatically appear, before we dive in, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. According to the YouTube analytics, a large number of viewers watch my videos without subscribing. So if you find this helpful, show your support by subscribing. It really encourages me to keep creating more time-saving automation content like this for you. Now I am on my client machine and let's see how we can create the device cleanup rule. So let me go to the Intune portal and if you go to the devices 
and within device if you go down under the organized devices we can see an option called device cleanup rule and here we can clearly see that cleanup rule to remove intune and old devices that are inactive or unresponsive these rules are applied every 24 hour once a device check in again it will still be enrolled without further action from your site okay so on what basis this device cleanup rule is going to work let me go to the intune windows devices and if you go to the windows platform device so we can see that here last check-in date right so here based on the last check-in date it will remove or keep the device in the intune portal let's say you created a policy where you want to remove any device which is not logged in the last 30 days or not checked in in last 30 days so it will compare this date with the current date and if the device is not uh, falling down in that particular uh, threshold then it will remove that device from the engine portal so let me again go to the device cleanup rule and let's first create the device cleanup rule and here you have to provide the platform for which you want to create a device cleanup rule for now i am going to create a device cleanup rule for windows platform the description as well and then in the platform we can choose all platform we can choose android platform or ios ipad mac windows or hololens devices as well so i am interested to create for windows platform let me select this click on next and then here you have to provide the remove device that have not checked in in from the many days so here you have to provide the days so we know that the minimum duration is 30 days and the maximum duration is 270 you can't give 271 because you can see the option is grayed out next option is grayed out or even you can't give 29 or less than so you it should be in between 30 to 270 so let me do 30 days for my devices as of now in my intune portal i have 37 devices so i am going to create a policy for 30 days devices but in production a recommendation is to start from the higher number let's say you start from 180 days and after one month or two months if you see that there is no impact and less number of devices are removing without any issue then you can gradually reduce the number of uh, days so but for now for demo purpose i am using 30 days but in production please 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 make sure that you provide the days as per your requirement recommendation is to start with at least minimum 90 days and then click on next and then here you have to click on create so now we have created a policy for windows devices any device which is not checked in within 30 days will automatically remove in the next 24 hours so i will show you after some time whether the device is removed from the intune portal or not let me show you quickly that in my device list I can see that we have 37 devices. We have 37 devices. Okay. So let me go again in the devices and let's create one more policy or two more policy, one for Mac device and other for iOS device. So let's create another policy called Mac platform and then select the Mac OS. Click on next and here i want to go for 90 days and click on next click on create now we have successfully created two platform policy let's create the third platform policy and you can see that you can create each platform policy once because we already created a mac and window that is why both the policies platform is now grayed out let me go ahead and create an ios or ipad and click on next and here i want to create a, a cleanup rule for 60 days click on next click on create and now we have created three policy each policy is for a specific platform 
so this is how you can create a device cleanup rule based on the operating system or platform and let me pause this video and come back once my devices are removed from the Intune portal and now after 24 hours we can see that the device count is now reduced from 37 to 11 devices and this device cleanup rule will automatically check criteria and remove any such device from the Intune portal.